Hello, welcome back again to Engineering Semester Channel. Today let's start the another interesting topics of the WebRTC tutorial series. If you are new to this channel or new to this WebRTC series, please go and watch our introduction part first. Today let us see the first WebRTC API, that is Get User Media API. Let us get started. The Get User Media API provides access to multimedia streams, which includes video, audio, or both from the local devices. We have discussed in the last video that WebRTC can use it for video call or audio call or record the screen applications. So if you want to store the data, we can use the Media Stream Recorder API. The Get User Media API is very efficient for both developers and users. Developers can now access audio and video sources with a single function call, while users don't need to install additional software as well. The API exposes only one method, that is get user media. This belongs to the window.navigator.object. You can see an image in the right side of this video. That is an example of get user media method, which prompts the user for permission to use a media input. Next, let us look more in detail of this API. The method API accepts as its parameters an object of constraints. It will return a success callback and a failure callback. The constraints parameter should have either one or both the properties of audio and video. The value of these properties is a boolean. You can make either true or false according to your need. If developer want any additional constraints, we can also add it by addition like resolution frame rate minimum width maximum width etc. You can see a sample piece of code in the right side of the video, which is having additional constraints defined. Now let us see an example. How to define get user media API in the JavaScript. This is a sample code. In this we defined a get user media API. We already said this API is from window.navigator.object. You can see we defined a constraints in the beginning. Here audio and video are made as true. If this API returns success, we are doing some HTML updates and playing the video stream. One important thing we should take in care when you use get user media API, that is error condition and exception handling. Next, let us look what are the error values will be returned by this API. These are the error values returned by this API. You have to check these error values when you implement the WebRTC. Don't worry now. We can see this error conditions in details when we do the WebRTC implementation. Now next look a live demo of how this API is working in the browser. You can get a lot of samples from internet today. I took one of the sample from WebRTC GitHub. I will give this link in the description of this video. If you are interested, you can go and check it. In this sample, when I click the open camera button, the browser will prompt the dialog box. Here get user media will ask permission to user for enabling the audio and video. If you are allowed the permission, then this application can use your video and audio stream. If you are blocked the permission, then this application cannot get those streams. I hope you got a basic idea about how this Get User Media API is working. I think it is enough for today. I think you got a better idea about WebRTC Get User Media API and its constraints. Let us see more in the upcoming videos. If you are thinking this is informative, then like and share subscribe. Also support us. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.